It's officially the World Cup in a few hours. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I made yeah. Sarah say let's go. So oh. um, how's it going, everyone? July 20th. Hopefully this video goes out July 20th. I was say, technically it's July 19th yes. right now. <laughs> we are recording the day before. It kicks off. The World Cup kicks off in mere hours. Uh, the first game for here in the States for us will be 2 a.m. on the 20th. It will be New Zealand versus Norway. And uh, we are pumped. I will say I do have Norway winning the game tonight. And then the game at 5 a.m. is going to be Australia versus uh, the Republic of Ireland. And I actually have Australia winning that one. USA plays Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern against Vietnam. And I believe the United States is going to win. So, so this video, we're going to kind of talk about something that I actually saw an article on our favorite online publication, the Daily Mail, Daily Mail. <laughs> on the Daily, but it just had me thinking. I just wanted to talk about some couples we are going to see at the World Cup, some couples that, you know, you and I already know about. And then some couples I was kind of doing some research I didn't really know about, but I'm now going to be looking out for those couples. Because the Daily Mail article had, a, uh, they featured four couples, and we're gonna talk, gonna mention those couples, but then other couples that I didn't know, and maybe, and then actually an update about a couple at the very end that has officially broken up. So we're gonna get to that. Oh, I, was gonna, I thought you were gonna go, I thought you were gonna say potential couples. We want um, <laughs> hooking up. <laughs> no. yeah, I like that. It's, so we're gonna go with the couples we know, we love, that we are gonna be looking out for to see what happens this year, but we're gonna start with those three couples then we're going to go on to more maybe we don't know as much about so first i guess we'll start off with our favorite couple one of our favorite couples sam and christy i mean yeah, we'll start off iconic. we'll start off hot we'll start off um strong because sarah and i keep talking about it. i mean this is going to be the story i think a lot of publications are going to run with because of the kind of the glitz the glamour the two most high profile teams at the world cup australia host team usa champions Sam, Christy, you know what I mean? Yeah. All eyes are going to be on them. I, we know Christy doesn't get the most playing time, so I don't know if that's going to be a factor, but I mean, they're a glamorous couple, you know? All eyes are going to be on them. Definitely a loved up couple, always showing the world how in love they are. Love to see it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, wouldn't that be something if Australia played US in the final? Yeah, exactly. That would be like... That would be the story. Uh, yeah, exactly. Olympic pictures at the end on the field. I mean, that 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 was that was wild. That's our most viewed video when we talked about that blowing up. So Sam and Christy, we love them. Watch out for them. I mean, everyone on the planet who knows soccer knows them. Okay, next couple. We'll stay on the Australia team. We'll go with Ellie Carpenter and DVD Danielle Von mm. Uh Another sizzling hot couple, and never get enough of them. Yeah, excited to see them both out there. Ellie Carpenter, I think she's probably, I think a lot of the uh, Australia, the Australia women maybe aren't household names yet, but I think Ellie Carpenter is one of those names that could become a household name in Australia. Definitely. Um, also, ACL, she she tore her ACL around the time Kristen Press tore her ACL, I believe, right around that time. And it looked like Ellie had a ideal recovery because she was on the field in nine months. And I think when you tear, tear your ACL, that's always what you hope for, but you never know. And she is young, so that probably helped her. I saw an article today that said the one woman's team that you don't want to join is the ACL team. Exactly. Some, yeah. so it was something like that. I, I saw an article. It, yeah. She had a recovery, and there's a lot of other players who didn't recover as quickly. So, yeah. but we're going to look out for them. I think the Netherlands are in a uh, group, group E. That is the group. Uh, Netherlands are in the group with uh, USA. I think those are going to be two teams, even though I did see Heather O'Reilly predict the Portugal is going to do maybe better than think people are going to expect them to do. I was going to say, do not sleep on Portugal. <laughs> yeah. So look out for them. I mean, the DVDs in her third World Cup, maybe, or second or third. And Ellie's one of the one of the stars of the show in Australia. So everyone look out for them. Third couple, one of our favorites around here, is Magda Erickson and Pernella Harder. Yeah. I mean, they are the queens of Woso. Uh, they really are. They, they really are. They, I don't know if they will play each other. They are not in the same group. And depending on who wins your group, if you if we got to see them play each other, uh, Denmark's in group D and uh, Sweden is in group G. 
Uh, but we remember 2018, the big kiss, the pig, the big kiss heard around the world, seen around seen, the world, <laughs> if you will. You know, all the uh, articles that Bagda and Pernella did saying, you know, they had 10,000, I don't know, I'm guessing, they had 20,000 Instagram followers. After that kiss, they had 100,000 uh, Instagram followers. So One kiss is all it takes. <laughs> I mean, let's, you know, I hope both of their teams do really well. The, the, the Swedish team, they've had a lot of heartbreak in the last couple of years, a lot of heartbreak. So I root for them because they, they are a, a strong team. But what's interesting about those three couples mm -hmm. is they're all competing against each other, if you will. Yeah. I mean, they're not None of them are on the same team. Right, right. None of them are on the same team. And that's kind of what I, I'm glad you brought that up because that's kind of like you. this list that I'm talking about. All these couples are going to be at the World Cup, whether or not they are playing on the same team or playing against each other. So all the couples we're talking about are going to be on the team, on, on the field at some point. Are there any on the same team? Yes, we have. Two. Okay, so I'm glad I did say it when I said it. <laughs> And so the next couple that was featured in that article, but we haven't spoken about on our our channel, is uh, Jess Carter and Ann Ketrin Berger. And yeah, you know, to be honest, I saw this from the article, this couple, but I, I didn't know a lot about this couple. I do know Jess Carter. She plays for the English team, and uh, Ann Ketrin plays for the German team. And if anyone knows this couple and their story, it's very wild. It's a quick, kind of a wild story. Um, maybe I'll link an article down below just talking about how they met and how they got together it was basically the the cliff's notes version was they met at birmingham city then uh one of them was looking for a housemate i actually don't know if it was jess or ann and so they moved in together as purely platonic friends that's always how it goes <laughs> and then ann realized she really liked jess made a couple moves and jess in the article says she thought she was straight and then she realized, wait, I really like Anne and I really want this. So basically they got together after not thinking, after it being completely platonic and then one of them really liking each other. So that's wild. This couple, I mean, Germany versus England could be the final. That could be a final. They also have a history of playing each other. They actually played, they played against each other at the Euros final last summer, Germany versus England. And we all know England won. So Jess has bragging rights for, for last year. So maybe maybe Anne wants the bragging rights this year. So that was really cool. They got to play each other last year. But that is quite a love story. Uh, and look out for them. Sarah and I don't know a lot about them, but now that I read this article, it was, I mean, it was almost just like a novel, you know what I mean? And I love it. And uh, we'll see how they fare, but, uh, but they were featured in the article as well. They pl both play on Chelsea now. That is where they reconnected. So they had met and they played on the same team at Birmingham City before then. They were looking for housemates. They reconnected when they were on Chelsea. But yeah, it's a wild, wild story and we love it. Yeah. So very cool. Very cool. So we'll look out for them. Now, we are going to get to a couple, a few couples that I had not been on my radar until now. So these couples, I don't really know anything about, but now they're on my radar. I'm going to look out for them. Also, if we mispronounce some names, we are apologize because we do mispronounce a lot of names that we don't quite know. Oh, I've never done that in my life. <laughs> but the very first couple we're talking about are new to couples to us is this couple right here. Linda Sembrin and Lisa Bowden. Yeah, you know, this is one of those couples that uh, wasn't on my radar until I was kind of looking into it for this video. Linda plays for the Swedish team. So she is a defender for the Swedish team. Oh, okay. And Lisa plays for the Italian team. Ooh. And she's also a defender. Enchante. And That's French. from what it looks like, they met a playing club at Juventus. And if we see they have a lot of pictures of each other and they are they are one of those couples that, you know, is Wikipedia official. Because if you're not Wikipedia official, then what are you? I uh, no. no. Then you're not even official. I mean, that's like official official. That means it's very official. Cute though. Super cute and both stars. And um, so this couple will be playing each other. <laughs> that's going to get intense. No. Sweden versus Italy are in the same group. Group. G. G. And, you know, they're both defenders, but, you know, I think it's one of those, it's one of those, you know, when you play each other in the World Cup, you're not friends, you're not lovers, you're not wives, you are enemies. <laughs> enemies on the field, lovers 
after no, the, <laughs> after the field. <laughs> off the field. So, yes. Yeah, so, they're going to play, be playing each other. Um, And then I guess we see. I do think Sweden's going to get out of that group, but I think Italy could get out of that group. I'm saying if they both get out of the group, that their group, that would be awesome. I would love to see that. Yeah. So, everyone look out for them. I'm not quite sure what day they play the each other. I Maybe I'll flash it on the screen when I edit this, but uh, we'll look out for them. Okay. So, the next couple that is new to us is... Viola Caligaris and Sandy Toledi. So, yeah. So, Viola plays for the Swiss team. Okay. And Sandy plays for the French team. Oh, um, enchanté. Exactly. I can finally say that. <laughs> <laughs> and Viola is a right back and Sandy is a midfielder. And they both they both met each other playing for the Spanish team Levante. Le- Levante? Levante, yeah. So, they both met each other. It seems like they played together there and... They are both at the World Cup. You know, I like I said, these are new couples to us. So I, I don't know if they were locks for their team, but just both being in a relationship, both being named to their country's teams, that's something that as a couple you share, even if you don't play for the same team or even if you, you know what I mean? That is Very so special. special yeah. Yes. Like, here's a cute picture of them oh. on her Instagram. Cute. Very cute. But they have a bunch of cute pictures of each other on their social media. And so I guess we're going to look out for them. Now, let's see. Does Are they going to play each other? Swiss and French. Will the Swiss and the French be on the same group? A. France is group F. Okay. So first round, they will not be playing each other. Does that mean they're not going to play each other down the road? No. Let's see. French will probably get, France will probably get out of their group and, uh, the Swiss will probably get out of their group too. So that's a couple that might, uh, get out of their group and seeing each other and playing each other against each other. Then here is another couple actually going back to the Italian team that they are a couple of more Italians, just like their teammate Lisa, but they are Giada Greggi and Rochelle Baldi. So I, I so, think. So yeah, sorry if we got the pronunciation a little bit incorrect, but like I said, these players are going to be on our radar from now on, and they both play for the Italian team, and so they are both on the Italian team, and that's really special. You know, we talk about the the couples that are on the same team with each other and get to experience everything together. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, doing camps together, doing games together. That's really special because those are memories you're going to have forever. Here's a cute picture of them. It looks like maybe with their, one of their pups or maybe, they, maybe they're maybe they both moms to that oh pup. Gosh, I did not see a dog at first. <laughs> I, I was focused on her like jacket thing. Yeah, I it's like cool. that. Very cool. You know, Italians have, they, they know fashion in Italy. I do know that. Every big fashion house is in Italy, it of seems like. Of course. in France. <laughs> Uh, Giada plays for the midfield and Rochelle or Rochelle is a goalkeeper. So just like um, Anne Catherine was the goalkeeper. There's a thing about goalkeepers that people really like, you know. I mean, I have a thing for all of them. Yeah. So I get it. <laughs> when it's also nice because the goalkeepers are not with the field players. They kind of have their own trainings. So you're not with each other all the time, which is probably kind of a nice thing. Yeah. So you can have kind of like your little bit of space. Okay, so those are kind of the couple Sarah and I didn't know about, and maybe you guys uh, will be out there and check them out. And here's a couple that we can't officially say is a couple because they're not confirmed. We're calling them the unconfirmed couple. So the first couple we're going to talk about, which we haven't really talked much about on our, our, our channel recently or at much, just because they really haven't said anything and it's hard to keep track of what the ups and downs of these these two, but it's Kira Walsh and Lucy Bronze. Controversial. Um, <laughs> they are, they are kind of the Chris and Tobin, I think, of a little bit, just like, I was going to say, they're good friends. <laughs> you know, whether or not they're together or not at this point, you know, we'll never know, but they definitely, whatever they are, they, they are still choosing to keep it mostly under wraps. However, Kira was seen with her arms around with another player called Laura. So, a lot of people thought Kira and Lucy did break up um, not that long ago, but recently it looks like their activities have changed again. So it looks like they're back together. <laughs> but this will never be confirmed, I think, until they're done playing or ever decide to share it. But um, they definitely have experienced a lot together. They won the Euros together. They won Champions League together. Maybe they'll win the World Cup together. You know what I mean? Either which way, they are deep 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 friends what <laughs> um, but we'll see you know this could be a proclamation remember in 2019 so many people made pro- proclamations at the world cup kelly o'hara there was other couples that maybe made more of a proclamation but they said 
now's the time. And so this could be Lucy and Kira's moment to say, F it, we're just going to go. I highly doubt that. I doubt it too. <laughs> but you never know. So we will definitely be on the lookout for any activity, whether that's on the field, off the field, uh, social media, anything seems to give a tell whether or not they're together or not. I still think they're together, but um, of course. We'll see. Okay. Okay. So the last thing we're actually going to talk about is a, uh, and a kind of an update to the couple we talked about a couple weeks ago that you, you would normally be on this list. We would normally say this couple is at the World Cup together. Um, but now we can officially say that they are not a couple that will be on this list because they're not a couple anymore. No. And that is Katie McCabe and Rusha Littlejohn. They have officially broken up. As Katie just did an interview. Um, with the Irish Times talking about something that happened with Rusha. And Rusha, she said, she, her quote was something like, my partner at the time I went somewhere with. And the other thing that happened is Rusha has a YouTube channel and she does Rusha vlogs. And a lot of Irish, I think it's just women, uh, but maybe men too. Irish women wear a ring called the Clotta ring or the Clotta, the Clotta ring. Yeah. And that ring symbolizes your status. So if you wear the heart facing you, you are in a relationship. If you have the heart facing away from your body, that means you are single. And if you have it on your left hand, that means you're engaged, I believe. What is it for widow or widower? I love we'll to ask an Irish person. <laughs> cut the finger off. No. <laughs> and so Rusha recently showed her ring in her vlog and it was it was a new Clotta ring. And that Ooh, means that's rough. Yeah. So that means she is single and that means they are not going to go together as a couple to the World Cup, which it is stunning to the fact that they officially have broken up because how I mean, we saw the videos, we saw the YouTubes, we saw. But also, can everyone start wearing a ring so I know their status? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Irish people are very smart. They like know that. what's up. <laughs> I guess you wear a ring whether or not you're married or engaged, but dating. I mean, you know, that's a good way to do it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it must be hard. I mean, they were they were together for so long and now they're, st but they're still named to the, they were both named to the World Cup roster, Kate and McKay being captain, but they were both named to the World Cup roster, which is a feat. First time ever Ireland's been at the World Cup. So that much, the highs and the lows of, you know, things. They're both playing and that's, you know, that's exciting. And it, will it be awkward? No, because they're professionals. They are professionals. Yeah. It's and not now they can just focus on you know the team and winning exactly and nothing else you know what I mean? exactly um so they have officially broken up and they're gonna go but as singletons um well mm. well maybe so that leads uh, us to our next <laughs> or again they gonna leave coupled up <laughs> that leads us to our next oh, couple no. that, that have more than likely broken up i mean no statements or announcements but uh, social media is pretty obvious sometimes um, and Caitlin Ford and Leah Volti seem like they broke up about six months ago. Mm. We haven't really talked about it, but they would have gone to the World Cup together as a couple. Caitlin obviously being on the Team Australia, Leah Volti being on Team Switzerland. Um, so they broke up about, I would say, six months ago or so. They were the lockdown couple. They got together during lockdown. Um, and so it, it's been a while, though. It has been a while. And I know their teammates are in Arsenal were really during this time about six months ago or so. Leah, Leah Williamson was really there for Leah Valti. I remember her doing a lot of Instagram posts with her and stuff. So, you know, they have so many friends helping them, you know, if it's a hard time. But I will say some think that Caitlin Ford and Katie McCabe may have already gotten together. So <laughs> could they leave as the you new couple? You had to I say it. I had to say it because a lot of people most are, are talking about it. And could that be could that be the shock of the summer? Just like uh, Beth and Viv were last season, last year. So could that be the shock of the World Cup? That couple coming out, if it's true. I'm yeah. torn if I think it's true because I haven't seen enough proof to maybe think it's true. But I would have never, ever, ever guessed Beth and Viv uh, being together I last year. Say. But I'm telling you, Team Arsenal is team couples. What did somebody tell me it was team couples or team relationship? Because there's so many relationships on Arsenal. Um, and uh, so that could be the surprise of the summer, I will say, uh, if they actually come out as a couple. I think it's 50 50. Uh, nothing has, I no, I'm not swayed quite yet to think that they are a couple. Are you sweet? I'm not Swedish either. Oh, okay. I, I am Irish, though. I am part Irish. Those are the couples. Um, look out for them. 
because that is one of the things that makes it exciting this world cup I, i'll look out for them especially these newer couples that i did not know about but what do you guys think also if you think i got something wrong please let me know down below in the comments and if there's a couple i did not mention that are both playing at the world cup in the world cup let me know because there's a bunch of couples that are would have gone to the world cup but they're either injured or one um, isn't playing or something, you know what I mean? But if there's a couple that are playing at this World Cup, let us know. What does everyone think? Questions, comments down below. Uh, yeah, it starts very soon. Actually, in the next few hours, there will be a game underway. Can't wait. <laughs> Questions, comments down below. We'll talk to everyone later. Have a great night. Bye. Bye.